Praise the Lord. <laughs> Please let's have a seat. On behalf of our family, especially our mother. Well, we're here, to, we're here saying thank you to everyone. You've heard a lot about our dad, but then you see that the story was just never complete without our mom. Please help me to appreciate our dear mother, Mrs. Bosumola Adeyemi, a mother in a trillion. Thank you. So on her behalf, we want to say a big thank you to the Living Faith Church Worldwide. Special thank you to our Father in the Lord and our Mother in the Lord, Bishop David Aedepo, uh, Bishop David Aedepo and our Mama, Pastor Faith Aedepo. They have been amazing to our family. We have enjoyed tremendous love from them. And of course, when daddy passed, I called, uh, we called to let them know. So we know that they are with us in spirit. A very special thank you to Bishop David Abioye and our mother, Pastor Mary Abioye. They also have shown us tremendous love. Not only during this period, but always, always, always. So we're grateful that they have been with us. I want to, on behalf of the family, very specially thank our pastors. First, our state pastor, <laughs> Pastor Joseph Abiodo. Help me to appreciate our state pastor specially, please. We celebrate you. We thank you for your word of encouragement. We very specially thank Pastor Oladele Folari. We're grateful for the support and our resident pastor. <laughs> our dynamic resident pastor. <laughs> the love and support has been tremendous tremendous and <laughs> I learned humility because we had been talking on the phone and then we boarded the same flight from Lagos to Ilori. he just greeted me and walked past and I was going to meet him in, at our house in Ilori. he did not say anything they said the resident pastor was coming it was when he showed up that I said ah, -ah. I saw you on the flight this morning <laughs> Please help me to appreciate him one more time. I won't be able to mention the names of all of our pastors, but I want to say that our family deeply appreciates the love and support that we have enjoyed from you. All through the years, it's been amazing. And especially when daddy took ill, then we knew that church is family. There were people from this church that were visiting every single day. Every day. To pray with them. We're grateful. Pastor Samson, 
Bodorin, we thank you especially. We thank you. We thank you. Because he had become a son <laughs> to daddy and mommy. We thank you. We thank you. Every minister of the gospel that is here, we say thank you to you for your support. Thank you. The elders' council in this church is special. <clears throat> I will tell you that because they were there. They were there, <laughs> you know, with passion in full force. <laughs> and when daddy passed, they said it is in the constitution of this church that the elders council must be involved <laughs> so whatever happens you must not go behind us <laughs> so we say thank you we thank you our special choir we thank you <laughs> we thank you <laughs> All of our workers and leaders, we say thank you. We want to thank all of our friends. All of our friends that came from all over the world. In this service, we have people that flew in from the United States, from the United Kingdom, different parts of this country. Please help me to appreciate them. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the support. We say a big thank you to all the friends of our family, the friends of daddy and mommy. We thank you for the tremendous support and the love we have enjoyed from you. Thank you. Thank you. And to members of our churches, everyone from Global Harvest Church, we thank you. So many people traveled from everywhere. Help me to appreciate them, please. The love is passionate and fierce. <laughs> Thank you for coming all the way. All members of Daystar Christian Center, we say thank you. Thank you for your support. We're grateful. So, everyone who's come here today to celebrate Daddy's life with us, we say thank you. Thank you. We said when we looked at everything, much as we miss daddy. We really miss him. But we looked at everything through God's eyes. We realized he is even in a better place than we are. He is not in pain. He is not regretting anything. He is in a state of absolute bliss. He is not in our past. He is in our future. We are the ones that never have to catch up with him. So we decided this is a celebration of life. Thank you for celebrating with us. Thank you. Thank you. Our former first lady, Mrs. Omolewa Ahmed, we say thank you to you. Thank you. You've been phenomenally, you've been a phenomenal blessing. And on behalf of the family, I say thank you to you. Thank you. Hmm. Well, I would like to say thank you to our family. I would like to say thank you to daddy's siblings, our uncles and our aunties. Our uncles and our aunties we want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for your love through this process. Thank you for your prayers. We are grateful. It's been a very peaceful process. For us as a family it's good you know part of why we tell us to celebrate was we looked at it and said daddy left a family of christians it makes all the difference in the world organizing everything has been peaceful there has been cooperation so we're grateful we're grateful 
Thank you. So, some members of our family are actually joining us right now online. Some could not come. So we say God bless you to them also. <laughs> and thank you for the support. And to my siblings and our spouses and our children and their children, I say thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Mm. So, if nothing resonates through all that we have said today, at least one thing comes shining through, that daddy loved God, and that daddy loved people. I remember my cousin uh, in the U.S., in Atlanta, it happened that I took something for him from Nigeria. So he sent me a text message. He said, can I come by your place today? I told him I would bring it to his house. He said, can I come by your place just to pick it? So that I will save you the trouble. I said, yes. So that because I had just had the passing of daddy. So I wanted to have the opportunity to tell him. The moment he had, he burst into tears. He explained. He said, if not for daddy, I would not be here. He said he would have been an area boy in Lagos. Because his mom, that cousin, begged daddy, please help me to take my children out of here. I don't want them to go rotting. And one by one, my aunties are here. Um, that's my cousin's older ones. One by one. They were coming to Elori to continue their schooling. schooling. And that's how come government secondary school here in Elori. And eventually, he studied engineering. In the U.S. now, he's, he's high up there at a global uh, tech company. So he was saying, I would not be here if not for that. And that, that aligns with what our uncle Shegun said earlier on. So daddy loved people sacrificially. So when I look at, as a pastor, I relate with people. We try to resolve family problems. I'm also a consultant. I resolve organizational problems. Dobu wahala. So collectively, we're trying to solve national problems. If you ask Jesus, how do we solve these problems, what will he say? They asked him, which is the greatest commandment? He said, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. He said, on these two hang all the commandments and the prophets. You can summarize the whole Bible here. So... Because I'm trained to diagnose problems, complex problems. <laughs> I'm trying to diagnose Nigeria. I say it's not as difficult as that. If everyone occupying a leadership position at a high level in Nigeria today really loved people, our problems would be solved. <laughs> so that is the example that our Lord left us. Our resident pastor said it while he was sharing with us. You know that among the Gentiles, their rulers lord it over them, but among you, it shall not be so. That was emphatic. You must go countercultural. This system where the leader is superior to everybody else and must consume all the resources is satanic. The Jesus system runs directly against it. And the first place where we have to get that system out is the church. <laughs> Service is the key to greatness. And the essence of greatness in God's system is service. I call on everyone here today, whether in the church or in government or in business or everywhere, the higher we go, the more we must love. 
Christ loved to the point of sacrificing his life, I ask, let's love one another sacrificially. We shall see a turnaround in this nation, in Africa, and in the whole world, in the name of Jesus Christ. Before I take my seat, I want to say a special thank you to Elder Fadumo, who shared a testimony as the president of the Area Welfare Association, and all members of Odoere community, in fact, the surrounding towns. Because as we were preparing, they reached out to us. They said, they said if you think this is just an Odoere affair, you are mistaken. There is uh, Okere, there is uh, <laughs> Yamere, there is, you know, so, so it, this daddy was a daddy to all of us. So we just wanted to say a special thank you to everyone from the Ere community. Thank you for your support. God bless you. Once again, a big thank you to everyone. We cannot thank you enough. God will help us to say the thank you. I thank you.